my dear friend this is a problem of electromagnetic induction in this it is said that electrical power dissipated due to the current induced coil where the number of turns are quadrupled number of turns are quadrupled means uh, for example he is taking one coil having n turns next year uh, quadrupled means uh, this is four times the previous coil this coil at that calculation is this is having n turns that is having four n turns that means if this is l this is having length four times of the previous length so it is understood and it is also said that the radius of the first one is r means the radius of the second one is going to be half of the previous one so this relation is given here it is asking us to find out the what happens to the power if the power in the previous case is p1 then what is the power in the next case is going to ask that question here now so first of all you have to find out what is the formula for power you all know power is nothing but v by r v square by r but here power is nothing but e square by r because instead of potential we will take emf here so electromotive force so e square by r and you all know what is e here e is nothing but d phi by dt okay d phi by so d phi by dt where phi is nothing but n b a therefore we can write d by dt of uh, n b a okay so b is varying here b is going to change here varying magnetic field is telling so therefore e can be taken as n a d b by dt so we got the value of e and you should also know that resistance is going to be rho l by a that means resistance is going to be rho l by pi r square that's it instead of area we write pi r square but this area is different from the area of the coil here so here area of the coil means you should consider this area whereas here the area of cross section of a wire which you are going to consider that is different area and this is different area so what are you going to get now just see the formula here so power in this case power is going to become e square means you write this formula that is n square a square db by dt whole square divided by r r is nothing but how much here rho l by pi r square so rho l by pi r square so pi r square comes to the numerator here with this we have to take three variables here what are the three variables one is n another is r square another is l here so we can write p is directly proportional to n square r square by l therefore p2 by p1 is nothing but n2 by n1 whole square into r2 by r1 whole square into l1 by l2 that's it now you can just substitute the values and get the relation so therefore we have p2 by p1 is equal to n2 by n1 four times n2 is four times of the previous one that is 4n by n whole square into r2 by r1 what is r2 by r1 r2 is r by 2 so r by 2 by r okay so l1 by l2 is also four times that means l by 4l like this so we can cancel out this n and r this l we can cancel out therefore p2 by p1 is nothing but this is 4 4 just 16 into this is uh, 1 by 2 into this is going to be r square so this is r square means this is going to be 4 and already 1 by 4 is there here so 4 4 just 16 4 4 just 16 therefore p2 is going to be equal to p1 power is not going to be changing here power is going to be same that is going to be your answer hope you have understood this one